Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, continues the plot of the previous film. It intercuts three storylines. Frodo and Sam continue their journey towards Mordor to destroy the One Wing, now aided by Gollum, the Wing's untrustworthy former bearer. Merry and Pippin escape. Their orc captors meet Treebeard, the Ent, and help to plan an attack on Isengard, the fortress, which is the fortress of Saruman. Uh, Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli, in their pursuit, come to the war-torn nation of Rohan and are reunited with the resurrected Gandalf before fighting against the legions of the treacherous wizard Saruman at the Battle of Helm's Deep. So just so as you know, as we continue on um, the Lego, uh, excuse me. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, yeah, I got like I said in my, but yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, like I said in my previous uh, uh, review for um, the Fellowship of the Ring, uh, a lot of my my only my one only my one and only um, exposure to the Lord of the Rings. Uh, franchise is the Lego Lord of the Rings, which combines, uh, which I do believe, I mean, it has to combine all three of the movies. Um, you know, all three of the movies uh, together, and that was my only exposure. Plus that, and there's been so many memes and so many characters in other movies and people in real life. Everyone's, you know, everyone's quoting or mentioning the Lord of the Rings and Gollum, Gandalf and you know you shall not pass and you know quotes like that so I and I was like you know I've never seen the Lord of the Rings so and you know with season two of Rings of Power coming at the end of this week I believe it's the 29th which is Friday I believe um so as we continue on uh this journey throughout the uh, Lord of the Rings, um, making our way to Wings of Power season two. So kind of like the first one, the, the first movie review, um, there's not a whole lot of things, uh, there's not a whole lot of things that I wanna mention in this uh, review, but uh, you know, there are some, there are, uh, like I said, we'll go to the pros and then we'll talk about the, some nitpicks and maybe a, maybe one or two flaws that I uh, wanted to take a want, that I wanted to write down and take uh, make a note of. So as we so let's begin. Uh, this movie, um, the Two Towers, has amazing action sequences like the Battle of Helm's Deep. There are some visual effects and set pieces that look really beautiful and stunning. Gollum, not only is he a revolutionary motion capture character, he also has a great character development uh, which was introduced in the first film and Andy Serkis did such a great and tremendous job. Um, you know, portraying the character. Um, the acting is still spectacular, as always, especially for Viggo Mortensen's uh, Aragorn. I, it's just, I, 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 it's like more, we get, I, I don't know about you, but for me, I got to learn more about uh, Viggo's character, Aragorn, uh, I believe. Um, <laughs> I mean, there is a chance I could be mixing up the actors with the characters. But Viggo Mortensen, I, I got to know more about his character, and we get to, and I get to spend some time with him. Um, you know, him and his interaction with other characters, and it's really, like, really deep and something I just, yeah, it's just, it's spectacular. As I as I said, uh, extravagant storytelling that follows the book that the movie is based on. Um, and the cinematography is quite delightful for its time, you know, for all that and for the motion capture and everything for its time. Um, the ant designs are very good. The destruction of Isengard is very good. And the film score um, is also very good. 
and let me actually see yeah Howard Shore who um, let me look it up yes he composed all of uh, yes he I think uh, yeah he composed all of the uh, the score for the whole trilogy of Lord of the Rings and also the Hobbits um, getting into the negatives, I mean, there are maybe sometimes the cross-cutting can be confusing, like going back and forth between, um, between like these three story arcs, you know, with Merry and Pippin and then Aragorn, Legolas and Gimli and then Frodo and Frodo and uh, Sam. It's like, uh, yeah, it can be, you know, confusing for some people, but for me, it's just really uh, you know i had no trouble at all uh but i can understand why people uh have had an issue with it the pacing uh is pretty you know it, it, it's it's okay you know it's mediocre um and a lot of footage uh was cut out um in the theatrical cut um, Elijah Wood and Sean Astin can lack charisma sometimes, but like I said, it's just, these are just little, tiny little nitpicks, um, tiny, you know, not, it doesn't really impact my feelings, my overall feelings with the movie. I fucking love this movie. It, it just feels cinematic and just, oh, like I said in the first movie, like cathedral, I don't even know what that word means, but it sounds amazing and stellar um Gollum maybe sure I mean he gets too much screen time and there's uh yeah I, I guess but the, you know these little things are just nitpicks uh it isn't explained it's all you know the film also doesn't explain how Frodo knew Gollum's true name unless and this is a, a big unless if they have seen if you know people have seen the extended cut of the fellowship uh the previous film but yeah like, like i said it's just like i said these uh you know bad qualities these issues they're just tiny little nitpicks and you know tiny little details that does not impact does, that does not heavily impact my overall feelings with the film itself because it's just amazing yes yes i i i do agree that the that i the you know that the extended cut like these movies are already pretty long the theatrical cut for all three films are pretty long and the extended cut is even longer it's like the Zack snyder just uh Zack snyder's justice league but more <laughs> um so i guess that's like my one big issue with all these uh you know films is that they're just way too long and uh they really needed to cut it cut it down but i don't really mind because i just i'm just enthralled and i'm just really like sucked in to this world of middle earth of lord of the rings and uh coming soon the hobbit um so yeah that's pretty much it, everyone, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for taking your time to listening to my review, my thoughts. Um, yeah, not not too much, not too much uh, more that I uh, should continue. Uh, not that much, but uh, anyway, thank you so much. Uh, please like and subscribe. Definitely subscribe because when you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll be helping me out by a bunch and it would mean a lot to me um because when you subscribe to my channel uh you would be part of my community and i welcome you into my community and i will treat you uh like a family like family we're just you know i'm getting closer to 200 subscribers and that is that means a lot that's like that just puts a real big smile on my face and I'm just really happy and proud and uh, I hope it continues on I hope I continue on I love making videos I love you know doing these things and you know getting my thoughts out and my reviews for these videos 
Uh, so yeah, thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.